for. Woo, Morris Chestnut, the celebrity fitness expert, author, and co-host of Lifestyle Magazine, Obi Obadike, have teamed up to create a new health and fitness plan. Their new book, it's called The Cut, lose up to 10 pounds in 10 days. The book is out now. Good to see you both. Good to see you guys as well. Great Natalie and I do not believe that this no. came together because, Morris, you needed to lose Explain 30 pounds. Where were the 30 pounds? This Morris, is very, very true. The 30 pounds. I, I, was, I was in New York, and literally, it was so cold at that time, I would not yeah. walk out of my apartment to walk across the street to go to the gym. I'm a California boy, and it just—it was just too cold for me. And I looked up; I was in my 40s, and the weight just—you know—it came on. And I was 220 pounds 220 when I came pounds. to Obi. And by the time I was shooting a movie, I was 187. And he, so it's a very wow. true story. He had a, he had a pot belly. Uh, uh, nobody took the picture, what? but you know we don't let anybody see that. <laughs> I was going to say there's no photographic we evidence. We do, why? we do, we do have that. We do. But have our that. book really wasn't just about Morris transforming. We actually did a focus group on yeah. 18 yeah. people that we transformed over 12 weeks. Real people, real life, real transformations. And we felt like if we did a focus group on average people, they could, they'd be able to connect. That's yeah, Tiaja Pierre. That's incredible. She Tiaz. lost 30 pounds in 12 weeks. Mm -hmm. And then Mike Hopper, who yeah. lost 117 pounds in one year. Wow. So wow. these are real people. They're the faces wow, of this book. Wow, look at that. Yeah, he, and yeah. they went through the whole program, the whole cut program. All right. So, so yeah. what's the plan? Because there are a lot of diet plans. There are a lot of fitness books out there. What makes this one different? Well, most, there's a lot, most diets, it's very restrictive. They say, yeah. oh, zero carbs, low carbs. And, and so our diet is not restrictive. We're saying you can eat healthy 80% of the time and indulge 20% of the time. So you have two cheat meals. Two, and the cheat meal is the base of the portion size of your hand. Right, so you can't eat a whole pizza, yeah. right? right? Just eat okay. maybe a slice of pizza, just the taste. Right. That's good, so the size of your hand size is your cheat meal. Palm, your hand. Hand. Yes. palm your hand. And then with, with our meals, you can have basically healthy fats, healthy carbs, and protein. So it's balanced. You're not restricting carbs, which everyone wants to blame fat weight gain with carbs. And, that's not true. It's the quality. It's the quality of calories and how many calories you consume, mm -hmm. which right. is going to determine weight loss versus weight gain. So we don't want to be we don't want to be restrictive where you're in a situation where you're working you don't have enough energy to function throughout the day. This is a healthy weight loss and it's a lifestyle. Right. You can't expect someone to eat healthy seven days a week and it, it's just not sustainable. Can so I have wine? You can have wine. Good question. You can have wine. Yes, I would say. Well, like how much? Yeah. I would say a handful. I would say two glasses of wine per week would be okay. A week? It's it. That's one Friday night. Just, that's know, that's half now. a Friday now, night I'm for drink me. Every day now. Okay. What about weight training? You say weight training is important. Weight, yes. Weight training. Explain that more. Wait, because what uh, what we do? Our program is combined. It helps you gain lean. It gets you more lean because yeah. you you still burn calories after you're done lifting weight. So it's not just the the diet program. It's also the weight training as well. Yeah. And a lot of, I think with women, I, I, there's still women that think they're going to get bulky weight training. And it's just not possible because you don't produce enough testosterone like a man. And weight training is going to allow you to shape those curves and allow you to burn calories after the workout. So it's very important to combine cardio and weight training together to uh, have a beautiful, lean body like you yeah. both. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it really all, it, it comes down to calories in, calories out, right? It, the it, idea it, of like it, mini meals and all of that, none of that, it really matters, right? It's, it's really the quality of calories and obviously how many you're consuming that's going to determine um, weight gain versus weight managing your weight. Yeah, because I had a lot of calories coming in before I met mean, anyone. <laughs> <laughs> but they weren't the quality healthy calories. I also like in here, you don't have to work out seven days a week. So what's your plan on that? I would say the great thing about the exercise program from the cut is we have a beginner, intermediate, advanced. So you pick mm -hmm. the you pick the exercise mm -hmm. program that works within your comfort level and your fitness goals. And so we have home and gym exercises. Beginner, I think, is three days. Intermediate is four days, and advanced is five days. You literally can you literally can get in phenomenal shape three to four days a week if you're efficient. It's about efficiency. Right. You're getting in and yeah. getting out, not on the phone talking and all that other stuff. What about you? Say abs are not made in the gym; they're made in the kitchen. Everyone thinks, all those yes. crunches that I'm doing. Oh, you say abs. abs? Morris, <laughs> we did a show together. <laughs> Holy cow! Those are not made in the kitchen. I don't know like why I've never seen anything like well, it. Well, people think that you're gonna do a thousand of crunches a day is gonna get you abs, but if you're not eating the right foods, your abs is indicative of how low your body fat is, right? So. If you're not eating the right foods, all you're doing is building muscle underneath the fat. So mm -hmm. ab exercises are fine, but if you're not eating a clean, healthy diet and exercising total body workout, then all you're going to be doing is basically building muscle underneath the hibernation of fat. You so, cannot out-exercise a bad diet. Thank you. It just Boom. does not oh, happen. You can yeah. do a thousand ab uh, uh, crunches a day, but if your diet's bad, you're never going to see it. You're never going to see it.
Boys, All right. fantastic. Good right. information. Signing up for this book. There you we can go. Buy it, Do it. Buy their book, The Cut, now. And you can also check out Morris in the season finale of Rosewood. It's Friday at 8 on Fox. <laughs> and Obi, so we're coming to your show as well.